if this video is going to be more of like a room tour video because I'm like dwelling into my childhood but isn't that I don't know because I'm gonna be like going around my room and like showing you like objects and like saying the meaning or like my childhood behind that but isn't that basically what a room tour is going around your room like this is my bed. Comforter, Comforter I've had since I was four, since four years, years old. old. It means a lot. Like, isn't isn't that basically a room tour? I don't know. Chill. But anyways, today I'm going to be showing you my childhood objects. Just like my things that I've collected over the years. I'll be like explaining my life. Well, just everything that's in my room. I just feel like this... Did this could like help, help us know, us know each, each other, other more <laughs> for y'all to like understand me better as a person because we are besties we we are besties so i just want y'all to know me better and maybe comment down below like your favorite animal or something so i know something about you too oh anyways let's get started starting off i'm in my band corner if you can't tell i got like a hundred pages of music on this stand um i've been in band for well i was in band for like seven years i think ever since sixth grade and then do the math i play flute i have her right here she has my name this is my sixth grade flute her name's rowan by the way and i have all these like little keychains on here me and this flute been through a lot and on my stand i have a few band medals i have regional champion bands of america medal which is probably one of my favorite ones and then i have this medal of dedication from my high school band banquet and then i have this all region medal that i got in middle school 2018 2019 it's got my name on it pretty chill and then this is just a name card thing from Music For All Festival, National Festival that I went with the band last year, around this time actually. A lot more of my band stuff is on the floor. I don't know. It's not really that well organized. Like I literally have my high school diploma on the floor, but I just have like a bunch of music that I like to love. Can you see? Oh, a bunch of pictures just fell out. I have like a bunch of just like memorabilia like photos tickets more photos i have my high school band locker lock and i just have um a bunch of region more music photos more region a lot of region all region and then along the wall i have all my region plaques I'm just boss like that. I got region flags. I got this little more memorabilia like this. I got this. This is so random. I got this after I made it to area. She reminds me of that time. And then I have my little flute hat. So cute. I have a bunch. I don't know where the rest went, but here's the two that I can find. My duck hat and my Santa hat. This one's a bit gross. It's my cleaning rag. Whenever I play my flute, I clean. And then I got more plaques back here. Can you see it? I got more plaques. That's it for the band area. Well, most of the band area. Before I move on to like the other parts, 
of my room. I just have to say that I have so much band merch. Like band shirts, band hoodies. I have so much, it's literally insane. I'm literally wearing one under my hoodie area. I'm wearing an area shirt. This isn't even half of what I have. I got the away hoodie. It's literally insane when I tell you how much band stuff I have. We moved on to this corner of my room. I don't know if y'all can notice, but I recently just got a new poster. A Coraline poster. Coraline is my favorite movie. I said it. I've always loved that movie and I know a bunch of people like have said that when they were younger they were scared of Coraline but I wasn't I was I was eating it up that was my favorite movie me and my mom we made the little squid from Coraline the what's shaking baby another thing about me is that I love sharks as you can tell by my blahaj also I love dinosaurs which, if you look closely throughout my room, there's a bunch of dinosaurs planted throughout. Like, watch. Come with me. Come with me and we'll go and see a place called Candy Island. Um, I have a dino right here. And then I have one down there. I just have a bunch of dinosaur stuff. I'm just a dinosaur lover. Dinosaur and shark lover. That's, that's who I am. I don't know if this is technically a room tour, but since I'm here, I might as well show you my wall. My vinyl wall. My favorite ones would probably be Heroes, David Bowie, the Call Me By Your Name soundtrack, and the Minecraft one is just nostalgic. Current vinyls that I want to get is Oracular Spectacular. Um, when I tell you literally any Radiohead album, I want it. I want Frank Sinatra vinyl. I don't know, but those were like the ones that like came to my head quick. It's time for closet tour. We got Sir Oscar right there. I'm not showing you a wide view of it just because it's a mess. I have a corner full of my stuffies, my stuffed animals. I love them. And as you couldn't tell, let me give you a little stuffed animal tour of my favorite ones. Big Dog is like the stuffed animal. You know like how everyone has like that one special stuffed animal big dog is my one special stuffed animal he's always been there king loyal i love him he's everything i love you big dog i guess another special plush would be my graduation dog just a bunch of my like friends obviously autographed mom i was their mother i was very much mother class of 2023 guys rock on Look at what I found. This is one of my folders from elementary. And I was born in Laredo, Texas. I lived there for like five years, I think. So Laredo is like the OG, the OG of all places. And the school, the school, so many great memories with the school. But anyways, this idea is like all like the kindergarten work. And I have like photos. Look at me, I look like a chipmunk. Grandparents Day 2010. For my grandparents. With like the pasta. The hand, I didn't even notice that. Wait, stop. Cut the cameras. I have so many nostalgic memories on that, my elementary school. It's Dr. Malakoff Elementary in Laredo, Texas. Ah, oh, and then we have like these science fairs and I think my grandpa, he won like flowers and like a chocolate cake and I remember we would make like these little like gooey like slime worms and I loved those little worms and everything was just so... When I tell you, I am the puppet master. I have so many puppets that I made. I am literally like puppet god. I also just found my yearbook and I realized if I just showed you guys my Picasso kindergarten artwork, I might as well show you my yearbook photo which is very crusty bad photo what stop stop it right now but that was my yearbook photo we don't talk about it okay that was tough times well for the yearbook photo but like elementary was fun another thing that i've always loved mama shiba which is this japanese cartoon 
of these bean dogs. I found out about them in fourth grade when I went to a Hot Topic comic book things. And they're like so cute too, the little bean dogs. Look at all these characters. So yeah, I love Mama Shiba. Hopefully I put you guys on the Mama Shiba train. I found my photo book, my photo album, which I have in this Camp Rock. Demi Lovato, Pete Lovato. I wasn't even like a big fan of Camp Rock either. I don't know why I put it in here, but look at this. Aww. Just like a bunch of baby photos. Okay, wait, hold up. Story behind this. I was a one millionaire word reader back in fifth grade which basically is like the highest achievement regarding reading back in elementary school basically if you read one million words you like get like this shirt and like this big trophy and you go on this party here's more tiny sammy so adorable me in mexico the dora haircut another thing that i just want to show y'all that i just keep in this black urban outfitters bag is that i would collect like these whenever i would visit mexico they always had like these tiny food magnets so i would collect them i got this shopping cart from vat19.com because i was obsessed with like vat19.com and like good mythical morning these tiny little food magnets and i have like a whole collection of them and like the thing that i like about like the Mexican version of like mini brands I guess but these are like the OG is that they actually use like real food like in this one it's supposed to be like donuts but they put fruit loops in it and then this corn one there's like actual corn kernels inside of it which is really cool I thought I'd also show you my sketchbook but I won't show you all of it because I think I'll probably do like a separate video of like sketchbook tour maybe like I've been like draw something. I've always been drawing. <sighs> that was basically it for like my childhood story room telling tour video. And I I barely touched the surface just because I felt like if I went through everything, this video would probably be like two hours long. Please like and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. Click, Click the, bell the bell button, button notification. notification. Comment, comment. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Uh. <laughs> that one's seen from Polar Express. I'll see you in the next video. We'll have fun then. But for now, I have to say bye. So, bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.